very much to Petra Kremenjas for sitting down with us. She's a psychologist at the Society for Psychological Assistance in Zagreb, Croatia. So thank you, Petra. Um, and my first question is uh, to you is, can you tell us a bit about the Society for Psychological Assistance and your granted project? Okay. Uh, hello, Anna. Thank you very much for inviting me. So um, I will tell you a little bit about uh, my organization. So the Society for Psychological Assistance is a non-profit, uh, non-governmental organization that was founded in 1993. Uh, it was primarily uh, founded as an answer to the consequences of the war, uh, and, it, and its aim was um, to uh, guard mental health of the population. In the first years, SPA was focused on working with people in crisis in war and post-war period and uh, offering comprehensive community-based uh, psychosocial assistance. So uh, Society for Psychological Assistance uh, is a pioneer in introducing work with perpetrators in Croatia since uh, 2003. Uh, and it also helped start this work in other parts of the region uh, Society for Psycho Psychological Assistance works in. So it's like Bosnia and Herzegovina, North Macedonia, Montenegro and so on. Uh, 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 Society for Psychological Assistance has the longest experience in providing victim safety oriented perpetrator program in the country, and it's the only uh, program that's actually being um, uh, conducted in Croatia. So uh, the program that Society for Psychological Assistance developed is the only program that's been uh, conducted in, in the Republic of Croatia. So which challenges or problems regarding perpetrator work in your country did your project address? Uh, so basically, uh, we had some challenges uh, that were addressed during this project, and that was uh, limited cooperation with victim support services, uh, also challenge of multi-sectoral approach in protection of women and children, and lack of professionals working with perpetrators uh, due to retirement, uh, job changes and reduced funding. Uh, and also our perpetrator program needed a bit of updating regarding uh, some issues such as improved risk assessment, child protection practices and evaluation. So that was done through the project. We kind of addressed all those challenges. So I can tell you which more main goals were. Uh, it mm. was uh, for first to enhance the, uh, enhance the capacity of a society for uh, psychological assistance to deliver victim safety oriented perpetrators perpetrator work. Uh, we also needed um, professionals who will work uh, um, in uh, work with perpetrators because in uh, society for psychological assistance, uh, it was basically me. <laughs> Yeah. and like uh, another colleague uh, so we needed more people so we can start you know here uh, in our organization uh, doing a bit more work with perpetrators so uh, we yeah. had this training so now we have like seven more uh, you know uh, professionals uh, professional pairs that can work uh, with the group on our mm. perpetrator program because uh, our idea was, you know, it's a man and a woman, so because of the modeling, okay. Uh, also, uh, our goal was to improve the quality of currently uh, delivered perpetrator programs. So that's something that was uh, that was done through risk assessment, evaluation, and of course, uh, it was in our uh, child protection policy was mm. also improved. Um, and we uh, started. Uh, strengthening cooperation with uh, victim support services. So we opened some channels because uh, we had um, uh, two work meetings with them. And uh, we also had one uh, event that was held and we started our uh, communication with them, you know, how to uh, how to cooperate um, in a better way and in a manner, you know, to protect the victim, uh, the victims of domestic uh, abuse. So we are kind of opening the channels now. It, so we are, we are hopeful that it's going to be better in the future. So, mm -hmm. yeah, we also had this recommendation during those two work meetings um, that we um, created together regarding perpetrator program and, uh, and focus on uh, victim safety. So hopefully that will be our ground uh, to start on uh, our cooperation in the future.
So Petra, um, which lessons have you learned during the project and what are some of the most exciting takeaways for your team um, or organization? We are very grateful that we had the opportunity, you know, to, to broaden our team. So now we'll have a, 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 like 40 more experts who can work in uh, with perpetrators. So that was uh, that was um, a major achievement for us. Um, I think it was uh, very important for, for us to uh, open those communication channels towards victim support services. And that's something that, that will be ongoing, but we at least started and we have this document that we can kind of, um, that we can follow up and then and we can, you know, cooperate on. It's, it's, a, it's a starting point anyway. Uh, I think it's also important, uh, the timing was of importance because uh, when we uh, actually started uh, with our project activities, Bravio report um, for Croatia was done and uh, part of their recommendations uh, were overlapping with our project activities, which was also great because we could have then include that then we included uh, all the experts from victim support services, other institutions and organizations like Ministry of Justice, um, uh, Ombudsman uh, as well uh, for, um, uh, and then it was also oh, uh, Ministry of Social Services, police, uh, like everybody were included in, in um, our project activities um, because Gravio was there and uh, it had this strong impact and recommendation to start this cooperation. So that was really, really good that it happened in that way. And I cannot, uh, and, um, uh, I cannot uh, say how much it is important uh, to have this multi-sectoral approach in in protecting women and children who are victims of uh, gender-based and dom domestic violence. So uh, that's something that we will definitely uh, continue to work on, right? Um, so yeah, and what and the great surprise was, uh, to be honest, um, the interest that we had, like oh, for all our events. Uh, for example, for web a webinar that we organized, like we had there, I think it was almost 300 people, like wow. from all over the Croatia. Uh, just to hear about the program that we have and what are their impacts. And these were all social workers coming from mm -hmm. um, social welfare system, uh, psychologists, of course, social pedagogists. And we had uh, as well uh, criminologists and police also on, on that webinar. And mm -hmm. uh, on um, our forum that we had, that we held also, we had a lot of people coming from um, uh, judiciary system, social welfare system, uh, poli uh, police forces as well. So, like a lot, a lot of people included uh, in um, in a safety of uh, in protection and safety of victims as well. So, yeah. That's a, there's so much in your answer. I mean, the practical experience of how the Istanbul Convention can help, you know, organizations in the countries, the immense interest in, you know, addressing the problem of domestic violence at its source. I mean, it sounds absolutely amazing. I'm really, I'm really glad. Yeah, we are very grateful that we have such an impact, you know, because and on, on those events, like we had so many people as well, like mm -hmm. 60 people were, you know, on that round table that we held. So wow. that's a major number. You know, like, yeah. So, yeah, definitely. That's it was amazing. a big achievement, you know, yeah. a lot Congratulations. of Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, so, Petra, thank you very much for sitting down with me for this interview. You're welcome. And fingers crossed for the future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we are very hopeful, you know, so because it's it's really, really important for us to continue this work and uh, to show how much uh, we can contribute to uh, safety of women and children, you know, that are being kind of um, in these situations of domestic abuse and violence. So, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're welcome.